And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a game called Heist. I didn't know anything about Heist. I was at Gen Con and some people came by and said, I played this and bought it on the spot. And I felt it was kind of a light box. Inside the box is essentially just a small safe here. It's an electronic game. It's a cooperative game. It is about a five minute game where players are working together from one to four players trying to... All right, quick in, quick out. Nobody gets hurt. And that's what you got to do. How does it work? Let me show you. In this game, there are eight different items that players can be passing around. Players can be four different players. The money man, who keeps charge of the money in this game, which is a way to keep score. You're trying to steal all the money. The lookout, the hacker, and the explosive ex expert. You're going to put in some batteries to start it off. To get started, you just press one of the buttons. All right, quick in, quick out. Nobody gets hurt. Select rolls. Money man. You need to have at least two rolls to get the game started. Level one, press any button for the next level. Level two, press any button. Level four, press any button for the next level. So you can go up to five levels, by the way. Level four, ready? Let's go. Look out, get the headset. Money man, get the flashlight. Look out, get the explosives. Use the flashlight. Grab one million dollars. So when it says use, you press the button. Money man, get the laptop. Pass the explosives to the money man. Use the laptop. Everyone press your buttons now. Careful. One more mistake. So there we made a mistake, and it gives you a warning when you make the mistake. You can have... You can make one mistake for free. The next one, it gives you a warning. The third one, then the alarm goes off and you lose. But what happens if you win? Look out, get the map. So now we're getting to the end. The flashlight to the money man. And you can see that the this has come up a bit. Grab five million dollars. And it's getting a little bit faster. The money man. The gloves. Grab five million dollars. You have broken into the vault and won. You made all the right moves to collect fifty million. Alrighty, and that's how that ends there. It ends with the money, these things popping out here. This lid comes off, and then you just slide that back in, and you drop in the gold. That's just there for a timing purpose. And other than that, I just showed you, you know, how a two-player one ends. I'm playing it by myself. You could play all four sides by yourself, which is a challenge. And that was also, I think, level two out of five. If you beat level five, a sixth level shows up. The components for the game are okay. I think that these plastic things, you can still see the where they twisted them off the sprues here. They're, they're okay. I guess they all have to be orange, right? It'd be neat if they were different colors, but you're passing them around pretty quickly. The gold bars are literally there as confetti. They're gonna fall out of the top. The money's okay. I may have to laminate mine or put it in a thing because it's gonna get passed around so much over the course of the game. But this device here, super fun, and the voice is just that nice mix between kind of annoying and yet definitive at the same time. It's a famous designer who did that voice. Can you guess who? Anyway, components for this are what they are. You know, it's in this one of these boxes that you gotta pop the lid open and all that. But I almost wish there was like a way to store the cards in here somewhere just to keep this as its own on the shelf. Now this is in the same genre of games as the push it, pop it, twist it type games, except it's with multiple people and you're passing these things around and listening, pass the flashlight to this person, do this back and forth, oh, now you use it, press your button. Everyone press your button at the same time. And when you get on the higher levels, it's actually quite, quite difficult. Uh, I've not even got past level five to get to level six, although I think if I work with my kids long enough, we can get to that level six, which is I hear very, very hard. It's a fun, entertaining thing to do, it's something that's quick and simple to bring out. And I know there are some people watching this who are like, oh, that sounds awful. 
well then this isn't for you. But for me, I had such a blast playing this. It's entertaining, everyone is pushing stuff back and forth, you are trying to concentrate on just your stuff and move it back and forth as quickly as we can. And then this gratuitous vault popping open and the gold coming out at the end, I love it. So that's Heist, one team, one mission. Silly fun, but silly fun sometimes is the best kind. Dice Tower Judgment approved. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.